And uh, we are off here. Uh, Egg Platinum with the white pieces here um, against Young Left with the black pieces. Um, and uh, yeah, this would be a very interesting match here. Uh, Egg Platinum, his clock has already started. He has yet to make a move. Um, he has already taken 20 seconds off of his clock. Uh, he should probably do something about that. Um, and this is, uh, for anyone, for anyone, uh, new to the stream, uh, these are 10-5 games, which means that each player gets 10 minutes on the clock, uh, and their first five, uh, or every move they will add five seconds to, to their clock. Uh, starting with G4 here, not a good move, uh, followed up with B5, also not a good move. Um, so we are off to the races here with, uh, with some questionable maneuvers here. Um, knight g3, uh, bringing that knight in towards the center. And we finally have someone fighting over the center here with this, uh, with this knight uh, able to come here uh, to either of these squares in the center. Um, I'd like to see a pawn push here to the center here. Uh, d5 would be a great one. Um, even, even e6, like... These are, um, that's just, that's just a free pawn. That's, uh, that's a free pawn, young Lef. Uh, and he is already, he is already kind of, uh, kind of off of his rocker. Uh, let's, uh, let's tune into what he's, uh, to what he's thinking. Calm the fuck down. Stop being a fucking idiot. I'm being such a fucking dummy. All right, and it looks like uh, it looks like he's calmed down a little bit, but he was definitely uh, a little upset with uh, uh, with that pawn push there. Um, so. Um, Egg Platinum really has a lot of options here uh, to try to to try to get control. D4 is definitely his best option here. Um, bringing the queen out isn't a bad option either. Uh, he's still solidly winning here, and this queen is pointing right at this uh, this knight. Young Left needs to keep this rook in place right now, or else that is a free knight. Also, need to be careful of a potential. Uh, Ooh, free pawn, free pawn, and he finds it. And now this knight is in trouble as well. Knight needs to retreat here, um, or uh, c5 is also uh, c5. C5 or C6 are what is given as the best computer options, uh, but I think that knight to B7 is probably the best option overall. Um, pushing this pawn basically protects uh, the knight with the queen here, um, and that's that's a free that's a free knight. Um, it's uh, it's not looking good for young left here. Um, yeah. Uh, also could just, yeah, could just have taken there on Passant, but definitely taking the knight is the best move there. Um, young left looking like he is out of water. <laughs> so here we are. Um, pushes the pawn forward, attacking this knight. Um, he needs uh, he needs some support here. Um So black, at, at the very least, black does have their pieces opened up. You know, you can bring this out. You can bring this out. That's a, that's a free knight. And, uh, you know, white, if black takes white, white is still winning, um, but it's a little less clear. Um, yep, and there is the knight taken. Black needs to make sure he does not take this pawn with the queen, because right there, that's a scary move, potentially. Um, white right now probably wants to bring his knight out, 
uh, probably wants to bring his queen back, potentially, or over. Um, d5 is a good move here. Uh, pushing this pawn up to h4 is also an okay move, um, putting pressure on the queen here. Um, can force him into a bad move. Uh, e th e3, that's okay. Um, not great, but it's okay. Um, you know, does keep this pawn from continuing to push. Um, but, uh, also what it does is it frees up this light squared bishop onto, uh, onto this diagonal, which is, which is a good thing for white. Um, ideas that the, that white could have here later are bringing this over here, putting the king in check, can then bring this down, uh, or, uh, or he can just bring it right up, or we can just, <laughs> everything's happening so quickly. Um, that's a potential option on Passant, um, uh, taking on D3, uh, or, um, uh, C6 is also an option here. Um, kind of limiting, uh, limiting white a little bit with their push, um, of this pawn here. Uh, queen taking on f5, um, would have been an option because it was protected by the bishop. Um, now this bishop, uh, this bishop is pinned to the queen. Um, you cannot drop this bishop back. You can't do that, um, because he takes the queen then for free. Oh, and he does it. I can't, I can't believe he just did that. I can't believe it. And there's the queen. There is the queen. And, oh, wow. White is, white's winning big. This is a big time, uh, big time lead. Uh, let's, uh, I want to see if we can go over to, uh, uh, to Egg Platinum stream and see what he's thinking right now. No, he can put him in check again. I like playing the check game. It makes him flustered. Really hoping he moves his bishop because then I can move mine up to here. So there's a little bit of uh, info there as to what um, uh, what Egg Platinum was thinking. He wants to try to keep uh, keep Young Left on his toes, continuing putting check uh, because it uh, can force Young Left into making some poor decisions, um, which. Yeah, that's uh, kind of right. He did say he, he wants his bishop to move so that he could bring his bishop here. He can actually do that already um, if he just wants to trade. Um, because if he does go here, bishop comes here, and that's just a trade. Bringing his rook out. Um, uh, bringing the queen to g5 is the best option here. That would pin the knight uh, to the king. Um Forcing the king to move before uh, before he could move the knight. Uh, drops it all the way back to g3. And at this point, as long as Egg Platinum doesn't blunder any pieces and uh, does not put his uh, does not put Young Left into stalemate, he should win this match. Um. Uh, C4 is a interesting idea to try to force uh, um, this pawn off and then start pushing this pawn up the board potentially. Um, probably a better better move from uh, from a lower uh, player's perspective would be taking the queen and putting it back onto this uh, uh, fifth rank, um, either to e5 or to g5. Um, I think I, either of those moves would be great. Ideas to potentially bring the queen over to put it in check. Um, if he moved the knight, of course. Um, plays a three instead. Uh, kind of an empty move, but 
Uh, it does not actively hurt White's position uh, perfectly fine. Um, probably best idea here is to bring this queen up here uh, to e5. Uh, that would kind of put black into a fork of sorts. Um, he, he would be forced to move the knight away, which would uh, he'd probably move it back to there. And yep, he does play uh, queen to e5. Um, black should probably drop the knight back here. He does not, and that's a free knight um, there on f5. Uh, and... Uh, Oh no, dude. Oh no, you didn't just do that. All right, Lef, you gotta see this. If you see this, you're back in the game, but you have to see it. You have to take the queen. You have to take it. He doesn't. He misses it, and he blunders his knight in the process. Uh, puts in check, that is a pin, so he can take the other rook here. Which is at least something. He, he takes the knight instead and loses his queen. I... Wow. Um... White is still winning. I want to make this perfectly clear. White is still winning in this position. Um, and very handily. But, um... Losing the queen there... Eh. And, uh... Lots of mistakes from both players here. Um kind of unfortunate uh, that Young Left did not see uh, back here um, back here on this move that he did not see this uh, this knight um, taking the queen um, uh, Young Left starting instead to push his bishop into enemy territory um, this was fine um, yeah it doesn't really do anything right now. Um, he really needs to do something with this rook if he wants to uh, if if he wants to get something going. Um, the best move here would actually be bringing this bishop in, um, not not there. Um, I was I was gonna say probably he probably should have brought it in in. Uh, actually, he wanted to take this bishop out. Regardless, um, bishop to h2, um, kind of limiting his options here on this diagonal. Um, and now white will start to push pawns. Um, lots of, uh, you got a weak pawn here on a7. Um, we have pawns here. This is really just, uh, you know, just make sure that you don't, you know, you can, you can win this pawn endgame if you play it correctly. Um, so black needs to, uh, probably not do that. Um, king over here and you're starting to push the bishop into questionable territory. Um, but if he doesn't do that, bringing the knight, the rook over on this turn and then bringing this up is an interesting proposition. Uh, instead, he uses uh, he uses the rook to defend uh, this f2 square. I would just bring it back here and put pressure on this rook. I think that's probably black's best move here. Um, also, can do c6, um, so pushing that uh, that pawn up. He plays rook uh, to h7. Just feels like an empty move. I I don't really I don't really get it. I really don't get it. <laughs> um, doesn't really do a whole lot for Black's position. Um, if anything, he needed to probably move it over to like one of these file or one of these ranks, uh, either to B eight or to G eight. Um, <clears throat> onto those files rather. Sorry. White continuing to push the pawn on, on the B-file. And now black cannot move his rook over there. He needs to do this with the pawns alone. 
Um, I would just actually just keep these pawns here uh, to defend against this pawn continuing to push. Um, because if you did push this pawn, that pawn just takes and it's a free ride down. Um, if you push that pawn again, he just takes and the king can stop it. Um, but it's kind of wasted turns. Uh, young left uh, putting his bishop even more into enemy territory. Uh, blocking the king's potential uh, path here to pushing this bishop away on uh, on g1. Uh, White continues his push on uh, on the A and B files with his pawns. Um, that rook is that rook is a very solid defender there. Um, so keep this in mind if he goes here and then here. Uh, that's going to be very very difficult for Black to defend. Um, he needs to be very careful. On passant would be huge here. Just taking the pawn here would be huge. Um, I think on, on passant actually looks like it is the best move in this uh, in this situation. Um, or moving uh, the bishop to a3. Um, so uh, and he takes instead uh, with uh, the d pawn onto c. Which is fine. I would like to. I would like to make it perfectly clear that that is a fine move. Um, and now, what this does is this frees up this pawn to push. If he takes, you take here, and now you can just push up the board for another queen. Black in trouble here. Down below three minutes. Uh, let's uh, let's listen in on uh, let's listen in on White and uh, Egg Platinum and see what he's thinking right here. Okay, so now he's going after this guy here. He's going to run out of time. Or this game's over. When I play chess, I tend to run out the timer. I make my moves quick. So I just play defensively based on what they play. Okay, so that pawn's stuck now. So he actually could have taken here on Passant, um, which uh, for those of you who don't know, if uh, if you have a a, a pawn on uh, the seventh or the fifth, or sorry, the seventh or the second rank that's being pushed up two spaces um, and goes side by side with uh, one of your opponent's pawns, that pawn can actually take um, in a move uh, called on Passant, E N space P A S S A N T. It is French for in passing. Um, so that would have been a legal move there. Um, uh, we continue, uh, we continue play here. Um, Black does, uh, take out that pawn that was coming up on, uh, on the C file. Uh, White now threatening, um, this bishop here with his rook. Um, not so much. Uh, he's also protecting this pawn here. This bishop is, uh, frankly just stuck. Um, in, in a lot of respects, he can kind of maneuver himself around. Actually, actually moving that bishop there would have been a fine move. Uh, excuse me. Um, brings his bishop back to this h2 square for some reason. Um, this is actually an interesting idea, bringing the, the knight here, or the rook. Um, he can do it again, so if he does bring the rook here... Uh, the king cannot take because this rook is protected by the bishop. Has to has to send himself back, um, and that would be uh, that would be taking the other rook there. Um, instead, the position becomes a little more uh, trapped, I suppose. Um, black now down to only a few pieces. Uh, This is actually an interesting move here that puts the king in check. Um, 
And now this is actually a mating that that just takes here. And if yep, he sees it, and now now it's uh, a matter of just finding a way to take out this king. Um, I think probably the best idea, which he'll probably take here, is my guess. Um, but he does need to be careful here not to stalemate. Um, we saw that earlier today. Uh, Drew Pierce stalemated his opponent. Um, Egg Platinum needs to be very careful that he does not do the same in this match. Um, I would suggest pushing this pawn up, making a queen. Um, and he does begin to do this. Um, that bishop should probably be brought back a little bit. Um, if he does leave it there, it will be taken there by, uh, by black. Um, and, and the king can go no farther because of, uh, because of those positions. Um, and now taking that. And black is in a very, very, very rough position here. Um, and there is the queen. Needs to be very, very careful here not to not to uh, stalemate. Um, and this should be fine here. And this is just a ladder now. And that will do it. Checkmate for Egg Platinum. Young Lef has been eliminated from Meerkat's Aspiring Streamer Chess Tournament.